Coronavirus has officially been declared a pandemic. As the world rushes to contain the virus, there are some simple steps you can take to reduce yours and your family's risk of infection. It turns out, a common Indian cultural practice can be a powerful protection against infection. A study published a few days ago in the renowned New England Journal of Medicine looked at how long coronavirus can survive outside the human body and infect surfaces in our homes, offices and elsewhere. It found that virus could survive up to three days on stainless steel and plastic and up to one day on cardboard. But what was truly amazing was that the virus was unable to survive for even four hours on copper surfaces. This is not the first study to find that copper is very effective in destroying virus and bacteria. A clinical trial in hospitals in the United States found that using copper surfaces in intensive care units kills 97% of bacteria and reduces the risk of infection by 40%. Copper surfaces have always been an integral part of Indian culture. We drink water from copper utensils and eat food from copper and brass plates. Besides the powerful purificatory benefits, using copper utensils is also supportive in many other ways. The way the water has to be kept in one's home, there is a whole science about it, how to keep it, in what kind of material, how to treat it. Nobody drinks water traditionally in the East without first bowing down to it, because how the water behaves depends on how you treat it. The volume of memory and intelligence that the water carries and every molecule of water and every body of water is very individual and how it behaves within you is very different. Everything may be just H2O, but it does not behave the same way. So how to treat the water? There are very various scientific processes, we call this as the Bhuta Shuddhi practices. It's an enormous science for people to learn and grasp. But to put it very simply, overnight or about six hours, you keep it in a copper vessel and then drink it, you will see the water will feel very different and various small ailments that people have can be just healed simply by uh, keeping the water in an appropriate space. An appropriate space also means proper aeration is there and how you treat it above all. Your emotions, your thoughts about the water, being conscious about it, that this is a major ingredient of who I am right now. This is not a commodity, this is life-making material. If you treat it with the necessary uh, reverence, for lack of vocabulary I'm saying reverence, or love towards water, or a feeling of joy towards water, you will see water will behave very differently within you just by changing the water that they drink and how they drink. I have seen many people walking out of chronic ailments just by doing that.